code start um, I think that is us good to go right well let's hop into this <laughs> did you see Barb doing the fucking um uh dance dance revolution it was fucking hilarious it was so so funny I went back and watched part of the vod <laughs> it's, that's like pig gaming. Uh, it's fucking hilarious. I hate this fucking track back. Get, uh, what, what does he call it? Barb Run? Yeah, get your Barb Run out for this fucking marathon of a track. Um, I think I have to go this way. And then this way? this way right. took it oh yeah yeah like it's it's sort of thing like you're really putting yourself out there to get laughed at by doing something like that and it was just like it was peak it was class okay so please have the checkpoint i've got a save state here anyway yeah okay so this this section here is this is the best section of the game so far without a doubt this is epic so let's see how long is the timer working. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, I'm doing really fucking well here. Good we first stretch. <laughs> EJ, I saw you lurking in uh, Marcy's stream earlier. She was playing an ambivalence. I had, a, <laughs> I had a good laugh when she hit the, the Kaizo block in um, Is it pee in the air? <laughs> <laughs> That was fucking hilarious. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Getting fucking hyped here. I re I really want to beat this chuck today. I, th I think I think I'll be able to do it. I don't know how long it'll take me to beat the chuck, but I really want to do it. So after this is Deuce Slayer. Um, I won't be able to beat Deuce Slayer, obviously, but I might be able to do the secret exit if I'm able to get that far. Um, so that's exciting. I'm trying to catch up to Grateful. He's on the. Uh, he, I know he's in the second half of Dusslayer. I don't think he's beaten it yet. Um, but he's also he's done Pooh's Laughter House, and he's done the Secret Exit, obviously in Dusslayer to get there. Um, but he hasn't done Slassophobia, Mount or Mount Moon, or what else? I no, that's it. So there, and he hasn't done, obviously Toasty Coals. But, um, so I'm two exits up there, and then he's two exits up here. So I'm trying to catch up to him. It's nice to have a little bit of competition. Just to keep me on my toes. Thank you. 
Nath, do, Nath, do you have any uh, plans for this big heat wave? Are you going to maximize on it or hide in the house? It's going to be, I think the record's going to be broken on Monday here. But you're, you're getting up to like 10 degrees hotter than us. Winnie, it's okay. Winnie, relax. Winnie, relax. I'm struggling that much less than what I was the, the last day. Oh shit, I made it. Okay. Okay. Get in the fucking door! <laughs> I suck at door entries. <laughs> oh. The door is free, let's go. No, it is not. <laughs> I, li listen, I was so excited whenever um, Nightmare Cafe series came out because the first thing I thought of was like, this is perfect. This is where I learned how to do doors finally. And uh, I've beaten them all and I still suck at doors. <laughs> My door entries are, I, I don't like, well, I, I can't really use this excuse because you would have this excuse. Doors were like actually free in Mario Maker and Mario Maker you could just hold up and I think I played too much Mario Maker and I think that's what ruined me when it came to door entries um, and uh, but obviously you could use that same excuse and you don't um, so yeah I'm just a little bitch <laughs> I, I fucking suck. played a lot more when I started out it was impossible yeah yeah that, that's true like uh like I haven't even done 40 hacks um, and like no hack is really like very few hacks are actually challenging when it comes to door entries oh what was that Oh, that was very off. Yeah, very very few hacks are actually like cruel in the door entries. Like Invictus um, had some towards the end, but like nothing throughout the hack. Um, Grand or uh, Peachy Mo World had some epic ones. Like the secret accent in Mountain Air is I love that fucking door. Um, that's a great door entry. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Sometimes that doesn't really line up, but... I'm sure there's a strat where you can go right away, but... I've got this working for me most times, so I'm just gonna stick with it for now. Kaiser power, yeah. Just learn a good strat when it comes to doors. Uh, when you run up to them, just press the opposite direction to stop. Oh, right, okay. Interesting, yeah. Obviously, that makes a lot of sense. Um, okay. Yeah. 
I know in a lot of speed runs, um, runners will like not sprint to the door. They'll pause right before the door and uh, get in, get in the door. Oh shit! Um, they'll they'll pause. They'll do this here and do that. That happens a lot in the uh, SMW speed runs, like like for hard hacks. Um, where it's really punishing, like you lose a lot of time because the section's so long. So like you need to get in that door kind of thing. Um. Yes! Ah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. The silence is deafening. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Infinite runs is a door entry that is two frames because uh, there's a, a hole coming towards the door. Um, uh, so you have to press jump and up so you don't fall in the hole. Oh shit. Yo, lovey, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, it's time to get it on. Oh. Oh, bracky strap, let's go for bracky strap. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know, Bracky beat this boss in 10 minutes because he managed to lodge himself up there and Chuck jumped up and he just continually bounced up and down uh, and killed the, killed the boss. Oh my fucking god! Is he gonna come back up here? Jeez, I am so fucking afraid! Right, if I can get all these Super Koopas to line up... Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> you can just game on the truck. I know, but this is me, Bracky. I can't game. <laughs> this is fucking chaos. Why am I ducking? Uh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, my heart is racing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is epic. This is so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I've done well with ducks last time. That song now reminds me of Meridwen's uh, Up Pipe. 
Äh, klappt. Fucking up pipe! Come on, duck straps, duck. So, ten heads, ten full heads. Oh. I need to find the sweet spot to stand there. I just noticed the on stream the color is very very off on this. Um, on my screen I see so much more detail in the background. Oh my god, Jesus. That's just something that happens with NT and capture card. Okay. Yeah, because in the capture. Let me see, do I have a color filter? I may have a color filter in this. Um, I wonder. Is that. It? There we fucking go. I think I think that has fixed everything. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So yeah. I must have had a color filter on for for a particular game or something. And then obviously it's a fact and everything. Okay, sort of uh Um Yo Mrs. Thing, welcome back. No heat wave coming this way. Lucky you. We're, we've reached the boss. I should say hi then. Yo, Quink, welcome back. Let's fucking go. I'm so f I'm buzzing here. Shit. Yeah, what snacks did you bring us? Hopefully there was no fucking Oreos. Oh my god. Actually, come to think of it, I can't even remember. I'm, I've definitely watched do like speedrun this particular fight. I've watched him speedrun the entire hack a lot, but I can't remember any specific speed strats for this other than getting as many hits as, er, as possible early. Oh shit. Oh, we don't have fucking worries, that would be inappropriate. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're you're on my side. That's good. Good friends. I'm like EJ. EJ comes and tells me, "Hey, we had Oreos last night, and they were fucking delicious." It's 
not the fucking tree friend. Got some different chips. Mm. Oh shit, what's oh, coming up? Oh. oh fuck. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need to stop chasing him because I can't fucking catch up to him. Okay. We, if we want Roman Coke, we'll have Roman Coke. Okay, this is the run. This is the run. This one's for Roman Coke. Them. Okay, that was a failure. Yeah, I need to stop chasing them. That's where I keep dying. Fucking up pipe. Yeah. If anyone hasn't seen the married man up pipe video, definitely go check out Hank, uh, Mr. Hank Scorpio. Awesome fucking streamer. And uh, he created that little clip of Married Wen, and it's so, so funny. They're, they're, they both tested positive. I don't know how many that is. Oh my god, that's fucking chaos. So see when you get like the double hit on him, does that count as two hits or one? I suspect maybe one. So you know whenever you immediately get a second bounce on him when he's down, like down, hasn't recovered. So that's two, that's three. Um, Oh, 
food. Bracky, I'm assuming the the cheese strat you had there isn't repeatable. Like I'm 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 assuming that was like a really fucking lucky like wedge you got in there, um that isn't repeatable. I don't know. Like we we did you like find the strat and then try and perfect it, or did it just happen the once? What was I doing trying to get up there? That was fucking stupid. <sighs> oh shit, that was good for you hits. Oh shit. When the baseballs come out, I panic too much. I know it's easy to dodge them if you're like not panicking. It's just like two little spin jumps, but it's that's fucking terrifying. when I see that shit. Why am I chasing him? Stop fucking chasing him. I should have checked the time I uh, I entered the fight off. I want to know how long the fight's going to take me. Oh, what? What happened there? Oh my god. Yo, Liam, how's it going? It feels like maybe 15 20 minutes I've been in this fight. M maybe longer. Usually I spend a lot longer than what it feels like. But Liam, how's it going? Hope you're keeping well. Happy Saturday.
Oh, oh shit. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna try and clear up some of these super coopers. I don't even know where to look. And he's going to keep doing the baseball, so I have to drop down after baseballs. Okay, this is another one. There. There. Oh, they're still coming! Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. Alright, I, I was actually talking to EJ. You fuck. Saturday night for you, EJ? Yeah, it should be Saturday night, yeah. Oh, shit. I'll go back in the vault. Now you're grand. I was just talk talking shit to you. I was also saying, I saw you lurking in uh, Marcy's chat earlier when she was playing uh, Ambivalence. It was hilarious seeing her hit the curiosity troll in uh, P in, in the air. Fuck, that was a good one. I'll try counting again. Counting before wasn't any good. Oh, I I saw you. Maybe you came in from a from a raid then. I saw you were in the channel. Yeah. I was looking to see was Drake there. Oh, this feels good. Yes. Yes. Fuck. 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 Yes! Fuck yes! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh god, what a fight. That fight was fucking epic. Yeah, EJ Money rated her. Oh, that feels so good. You've conquered Sans Fortress through the real Dark Souls, although the real Dark Souls has only just begun. Storms loom on the horizon, but first, what on earth is that horrible smell? It's Rick. It's Rick. Oh, Deuce Slayer, the big boy. Hardest level in the hack. What have we got here? Vile sewage flows throughout this tunnel where most of chat's suggestions ended up for this game. Thank you. 
Oh, shit. Secret access. Let's be having a hitch. Yeah, Liam, I know. I'm just memeing. It also says Grand Pooh Bear World. <laughs> Debarg. <laughs> In fairness, I was trying to think of like what funny name will I give Barb. I was like, I don't want it to look like a, an accidental typo. I want it to look so fucking stupid. So I was thinking Chad. And then I wrote Brad, and I could not stop giggling after I wrote Brad, so Brad it is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, even now I'm still laughing. Just whenever I wrote Brad, I just fucking giggled forever, so. <laughs> So I just went through it went through me twice. <laughs> uh that saw is a bit sus. Okay, that's easy to do when you wind it up. Yeah, that's a benevolent saw. Okay, this, this, this is pretty easy so far. Much like the vertical scroll in Smash and Sewer um, in Invictus, it's, it was the one of the easier exits in the hack. This, I think this is pretty much the same. In, in, in both of these instances, so Invictus came out around November. And this came out in February, like very, very close together. No one had really done anything like this before, so I think both of these exits were fairly, fairly lenient. Um, I'm sure you could make some really brutal stuff with vertical school. Would you like to become playtester from a hack? Uh, so, few questions. What stage are you at? Because I'm already playtesting a few hacks at the moment, and it's. It's quite exhausting uh, whenever it's in the early stages because you have to provide so much feedback. So if you've got like something that's like close to being done and you want me to play it, brilliant. I'm happy to do that. If you if you're still in sort of like the build phase, I don't really have a lot of time to do like in-depth testing. Um, 
it would also matter uh, what sort of difficulty it is. If it's easy or like sort of the low end of intermediate, that's fine. If it's harder, like I, I wouldn't be a good playtester for that. But uh, yeah, if you want to send me on what you've got, I'm more than happy to. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't get to play or stream a lot because I don't have a lot of free time. So I do all my testing offline um, and then I can give you my notes and feedback. Um, but yeah, what kind of hack are you, you building? Yeah, like if, if you, if you, if you, there's definitely, it's definitely good to have testers involved in the build phase. It's good to have testers in the sort of like the really constructive feedback phase where you're like, uh, yeah, like th this, like the color palette's wrong or like, you know, you can't really see it. You know, like there's a difference between having early building the levels and then the, when you add in all your graphical changes and stuff, like there's multiple different stages of it. And the earlier stages are quite uh, time consuming, um, but they're important. So I, I just wouldn't be able to dedicate the time to that. So. Uh, if you need testers, um, the best thing to do is to set up a Discord and then reach out on Twitter, just asking like, who's able to have a look at this? Because most most people will love to play tests. Most people really enjoy it, um, and it's their way of giving back to the community. Um, oh shit! Oh, that was the wrong way. Um, but yeah, I just came off doing like a late play test of ambivalence. I didn't really offer anything in, in the form of play testing. It was already really polished by the time I got it. And likewise with Getaway, I didn't. I, I got to do some stuff, but I didn't get to even finish the, the hack, unfortunately. But with um, Jez's hack, uh, Gamble, I've, I've done a serious amount. Um, and the next phase is very, very close. Um, did I need, did I need that? I don't know. Did I need that shell? Why am I getting that shell? Oh yeah, I do need it, sorry. Um, yeah, with Gamble, I'm, I'm doing like really in-depth play testing. Yeah, there you go. I actually wasn't even in that, so I'm in it now. But uh, yeah, there's lots of people who are happy to lend a helping hand. It's good experience for new people. It's good. Ex uh, it's good for experienced pe people to give something back. So um, you won't have a problem actually finding testers, and and some testers will be better than others. Um, so like, don't rely on one or two. The more testers you have, the better. Drake ended up having about, a, I don't know if it was about 20, maybe about 15, 15 to 20 testers and it turned out to be a very polished hack that was very well received. So there's, there's definitely a lot of benefit to having many testers. The old traditional route was like get two or three testers um, and that works fantastic if they are like experienced and they're able to say like, a, B, C, and D are wrong. Uh, this needs to be changed, like if they're experienced. But if you're getting lots of inexperienced people, which is still very beneficial, definitely get a lot more than three. Okay, that's super easy, that setup. I like it. This actually is easy. Well, it is easy, but I'm also having conversations. It's, it, it's uh, like nothing here is actually difficult. It's just playing the level. Um, but uh, Liam, actually Liam, did you create a hack before? There's someone else in, in the UK created a hack. I'm pretty sure their name was Liam. Was that you by any chance? Liam Chad, I got it. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so I think was it Liam? Yeah, I think someone else in the UK uh, called Liam released a hack not that long ago. Uh, like quite a vanilla looking hack, but it looked like it was super fun. I don't know if that was you or if this is your first. I don't know who I'm thinking of of it, or maybe I was Lee. Maybe the name was Lee. level for babies. I like this because whenever you like you swing and throw and, and swing and jump it like lines up perfectly every time so I really like that particular setup with the shell. It would be annoying if it was kind of like hard to get it consistent but there like, you just swing and swing and I guess I'm a swinger now. Uh, I, I, I doubt any of the people who followed me when I was offline are here, but I got a few follows when I was offline. And I just want to say thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, it's nice coming in and seeing the, the follow count going up and up. Too early, way too early. Wait, I need to wait till it goes to its peak. Yeah, that, that feels so good to do it that way. shouldn't be down to that these Koopas here. <laughs> I really shouldn't be down to those Koopas there. <laughs> Easy level for babies. <laughs> I fucking suck. Probably should have hopped off that. Uh, that probably would have ended better for me. Jump off the slip. 
very late. I take a, a lot bigger run at that and jump off it late. So, uh, Quink, if you're still there, where did you get to in this? Are you in the Eerie? I know Siv was in the Eerie. I don't know if he's got out of it now at this stage. Um, but he was playing it the other night. Um, I think you may have been the Eerie as well where you dropped off. there's a certain point where I can do a lot of recovery um, if I fall down to a certain place. If I can fall down to this specific area. much about it's getting in my head. I don't know where the Kaizo block is but I know it exists somewhere. Oh, Easy level for babies. This should be a quick clear. chat <laughs> yeah well it is your fault <laughs> oh i'm a fucking jackass This is like the final stretch, but it's quite a long section, but it's all go, go, go. So up until this point, it should have been easy, technically. So let's give this a go. Oh, that's a spin jump. Okay, that was pretty good, but that's a spin jump.
Okay. Fucking up pipe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Game ever and I hear SMW hacker frustrations out of the way. Hi, <laughs> what are you on about? It's a perfect game. <laughs> I was going far. <laughs> Fucking up pipe, yeah, and then the cluster chuck music. <laughs> Hank sent me the uh, the the clip to use. Um, that's fucking hilarious. Go and submit a job app number five yesterday. Yeah, well, that's the only way to do it. Uh, keep sending them all out. The amount of the amount of jobs that are going and uh, like they don't actually need the staff. They just need to show that they're looking for staff, or they've already got someone in mind, um, and they just have to put out the application for legal reasons. That's quite a lot. So. Um, keep a plan because you never know that that job uh, may not be actually available so the more you apply for the more chances you have of getting a job and best of luck on the job hunt um, shit. um yeah I used to make the mistake where I would apply for one or two jobs and wait to hear back to see how they went um, and then quite often you wouldn't actually get any sort of feedback and yeah it turns out that's just like an industry standard thing for legal reasons to have to put out applications so yeah definitely get as many applications out as you can and go for as many interviews as you can and best of luck Heard nothing. I mean, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Like, if uh, like if you're a good candidate for the position that they're applying for, it would be in their interest to like keep in good terms with you, even if you're not getting hired. So whenever you don't, you don't even get a response, either you're completely not suitable for the job, and that's something you would know whether that's right or not based on the job description. And if you feel like you are, it just means they, they, you were never, no one was ever gonna get the jobs. Um, they were just gonna line up someone internally. They just had them legally make it seem like they were also hiring externally, so they're not showing favoritism. But that's that's just life. That's there's nothing you can do about that. That happens everywhere in every country, unfortunately. I, whenever I was looking for a job, I was just too stupid to realize that, or too naive that that existed. Imagine not being a good candidate for a job where you grab items off a shelf for an online sh Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... 
Yeah. It's, it's, sometimes there is government funding for trying to fill slots and then they're not actually able to fill the slots kind of thing. Um, even big companies are able to avail of a lot of funds and stuff in particular countries. There's a lot of loopholes and a lot of companies take advantage of it. Um, I did see that here with one company in Belfast before where they, they were able to make it seem like they were trying to get applicants. Now this, it, it, this wasn't like a, not an entry level job, but like this was like, they were looking graduates and uh, they were saying they, they, they couldn't get anyone, even though like me and a lot of people in my cl uh, university class were applying for the role, not one of us heard anything back. And it turns out there was a government fund to help get graduates into jobs and they were applying for it. <laughs> And that actually, uh, they were getting funding uh, because they were trying and uh, were getting the grant and uh, they weren't actually taking anyone on. Yeah, so best of luck. You'll get something eventually, so it's just a matter of surviving until you do. There's definitely work out there, so keep trying hard and you'll get there. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck me. Job is at the last place in town I could find publicly stating their hiring. So uh, if I don't get this one, I think um, I'm SOL. What's, uh, what's SOL? Uh, I don't think I can save this because this other platform has fallen down. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, if it requires going out of town for a temporary period, uh, doing a bit of extra traveling, um, like whatever it takes, there, there's absolutely work out there. It's just sometimes it's hard to find, sometimes it's not advertised, and you throw your application into a job that weren't even hiring, and all of a sudden they're like, you know what, maybe we could do an extra set of hands. So, um, absolutely keep keep trying and you'll get something sorted it, it's it's just a really shitty time that many people go through where they have to struggle to find a job but you'll get there it's it's, it's difficult for sure all right come on let's get out of this level this easy level for babies I don't need a job yet, just... Yeah, 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 of course. Oh. Clearly you're you're not a baby. Yeah, I only babies can beat this level, not fucking hairy 30 plus year old men. I can't even remember how fucking old I am now. Oh my god, look. BB level for easies. It's a shame I'm not a god gamer like Nathan. Nathan, what's your favorite morsel hack and what's your least favorite morsel hack? I 
know you've I think you've played everything at this point. I don't know if you've done elephants, but I'm pretty sure you've played everything else. Well, this sadly hairy 18 year olds. <laughs> Still a young pup. find it well I can only speak for the ones I've played so far elephants double jump man horses and in most of the way three storks at the minute um, oh Nath I thought you'd you'd played them all uh, or like apart from elephants I didn't know you had done elephants and yeah double jump man what do you think of double jump man I I uh, haven't seen a lot of it um, I, I saw Third Wall and Tofu talking about it yesterday and they were saying like how it's it's definitely Morsel's worst hack but I've, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it before so um, I was surprised by that um, where you can re-grab yeah Yeah, I think third one was saying his favorite morsel level was is is in double jump man, but like it's like the worst hack he has. Um, but um, I, I I might again I might I might be wrong in what I'm thinking and maybe I missed some part of the conversation. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Tofu said like double jump man was like Morsel's worst attack. Yeah, as a viewer, I really don't like Morsel stuff. I I think it, it because it's so chocolatey, it's just I I don't really connect with it. Fuck, what am I doing? I don't need to rush I I don't need to get back on that one. So maybe I can just take my time and, and take it wide. I'm just happy I haven't crushed the shell once by spinning on it. I'm really trying not to crush it. So yeah, that makes it way easier that I don't have to rush through those first two platforms. So yeah, easy level for babies. Just no one distract me. <laughs> um, I put double double jump on it as probably my second favorite so far. Awesome. Surprising that you went for elephants before storks given the difficulty um, of both of them. Uh, like Storks is obviously a very difficult game, but it's substantially easier than Elephants. What, what was the reason behind that? Why did you choose Elephants? I was already at a level that I could do it and elephants look more fun yeah fair that's fair it definitely looks like a very very different hack they don't look similar at all so i get that elephants is for sure it's like it's oh my god what did i just say about crushing that fucking shell uh elephants definitely looks like its own thing um
Get in the fucking pipe. GG. Jokes. <laughs> I panicked a little because I was like, did I go too far? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm so fucking happy. Pooh's Laughter House. I know, imagine I hit the goal. Right. We're doing all portraits, so let's go visit our main man, Joe's. I'm sorry for this, and RAP Bitrate. God gamer. 40 hours in, how many exits is this? Is this like 12 exits? Um, about four hours in exits. Three and a half, four hours. <laughs> Look at that. Joe's. Joe's. See what it is. Very uh, different and take different boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I I feel like like I I wrote about this on Twitter, but when I started this marathon was super easy for me because I had played a bit of it before, so I beat the first exit in 45 minutes, so no problem at all. Every other exit kicked my fucking ass up until Classophobia. So the next one, next three, um, laser lifts, um, uh, Riptide Slide and Garhadris, each took me six hours each and completely destroyed all my confidence and my progress was just continually slow until I got out of those. Um, and it wasn't until I reached the boat exit in Thrasophobia where I started to get my confidence back and uh, um, and things started to get a little bit better and I feel like I've been really good since so uh, yeah I'm glad to like finally finally uh, be making so some sort of progress I know Deuce Lair is going to trip me up I know the Eerie is going to trip me up um, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to finally feel a little bit confident. Um, I've never ever felt like this in Kaizo ever. I'm a very easygoing person, and no Kaizo's ever made me sort of made me down before. This one definitely done, done it, and it, it's not the hack; it's just my confidence. Just eventually had to get knocked. Never, I never get to join the Kaizo, the Kaizo conversations because I don't watch it at all. I'm not really in that space. But I can at least talk about Drax hack. Oh, Drax hack was great, yeah. Yeah, uh, order hacks, different boxes. I struggle with favorites lists in general. Uh, me and confidence do not go together at all. Yeah, I've I've never been cocky. I've always been confident, but I've never been cocky about my skills. Um, I don't. I was very boring, and in Mario Maker, I made hacks that, or levels that were like do a thousand shell jumps in a row really stupid basic levels that just repeated the same thing over and over and um i done that for the pure reason of like if i if i'm going to do keizo i need to master just the basic skills and tricks and so i came out of mario maker with really good shell skills and uh and um so like in terms of my confidence i've i've, I've never never really had a problem because i worked for the level I got to um, but in SMW um, it's very hard to what am I even trying to say it, oh yeah so it, it's very hard to maintain sort of skill levels without playing and with my scattered schedule my progress has always been super slow um, I get typically once twice a week is all I get to play and then I take periods off where life is just too busy, so it sucks, but I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing on Grandpa World 2. So I haven't missed any portraits yet, 
Um, haven't done toasty colds, but I, I did visit Tofu. Um, and then in Deuce Lair, Glitch Cat lives in, in there. So. Very happy with two axes today. Yeah, two axes. this the levels that are opened up for me are goose lair which is the longest grindiest level um it, it's got one checkpoint but the each of the sections are like oh shit uh, each of the levels feel like they, they need a fucking checkpoint in the middle of them it should, should be like a three checkpoint level um it's really long it's not that difficult in terms of skill level that's required for any of the sections. It's just super long. Um, the Aerie is like way longer, but it, it, it has five checkpoints, four checkpoints. Like it has a lot of checkpoints, so it's not as bad. It just has two difficult sections. And then after that, everything's free. Um, friend in work started getting into Keizo and uh, he sent me a photo of a setup. He, he uses a Super NT but he runs it through an old CRT and uh, he's got a cool little stream setup going. Section 1 of the area took me longer than any other level. Yeah. I'm not surprised, EJ. That's the section I'm really scared about. I'm not as scared about the the vertical going up uh, as much as I am about that going in the pipe um, of section one. Uh, that that slow fly is. I'm 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 gonna really struggle on it, but I'm looking forward to just learning keep. I, I I expect it to kick my ass, and I want it to kick my ass because I wanna. I don't want to do sticky fly. I want to get better at. At slow flying and once you get it you get it like once you get it you're you're fine um, and I've just never been put under pressure with Kip before so and that, that I, I just want to approach it I'm going to try and squeeze in a few extra streams when I'm in um, the Eerie and for Bowser just so that I can focus more intensely um, on that particular level but uh, Uh, I, I'm. I don't want to say I'm afraid of it, but it is. It's it. It's the level itself, the the lengths and the skills required for the eerie are they are a bit terrifying. <laughs>
can't remember if I took a save state or not. I'm gonna do one now here at the start. lost progress on one level before because I forgot to go to the safe house and save Jeez, for some reason this is the regrabs here are really hurting my hand. Um, something's up here that's making me like really crunch the controller. going to try and build up speed to uh, get a bit more momentum but it's it's throwing off the entire setup I'm just very glad to get out of Sens. Sens was definitely the best level. I loved Sens but it was great to beat the cluster chuck. The first boss in the hack it was super easy. The cluster chuck felt like a proper boss. Yo thanks very much for that follow I appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, the cluster chuck felt like a really cool, fun boss, and like a good amount of challenging. I I really hate easy bosses. Um, um, I I just can't despise an easy boss. Or, yeah, I just despise easy bosses, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you achieve nothing from beating an easy, easy boss. Other than being like, one shot, and then you forget about it, and then you forget that there's a boss even in the hack. but I sold my barbecue. Okay. 
Oh fuck, I forgot to... Forgot to kill it. This is just such like an obnoxious level, the song, the uh, the graphics, but it's, it's fucking awesome. Like gameplay wise it feels great. How's it going? Hope you're doing great. Are you prepared for this heat, Orla? I, I get a feeling you're like me and Rick where you don't really enjoy the heat as much. I think it, maybe it's an Irish thing. I finished working two hours, so I'm delighted. Oh, two hours early. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, something told me that. I know, I know Steelbeard doesn't like the heat either. progress here today I've, I've cleared two exits one of them was a had a boss in it an epic boss so uh, I'm now in this like joke level it's like a fucking happy carnival oh my god I can't get the I'm too far away from the other one in that tunnel. Oh. What county has uh, blue and yellow as their colours? Is it Ross Common? Sure, it's Ross Common, or maybe they're like blue and white. Ukraine, yeah, Ukraine is <laughs> they're a great Gaelic team. <laughs> Ukraine for Sam. <laughs> play here yeah I almost have to go immediately there's a so when I get into that tight tunnel uh, 
it starts off being two tiles the ceiling's two tiles high and then it goes to three tiles high i think i need to spin as, as soon as it goes to three tiles high Yeah, so I had um, Winnie in the vat this morning. She's got her sutures out. And uh, she's recovering well. They're happy with her, her progress from the surgery, her recovery from the surgery. Have you two got uh, Fall Guys? Make sure you get Fall Guys. Um, like I love, I love um, Dead by Daylight, but uh, I think Fall Guys is going to be my new multiplayer game, and it's free at the moment and cross-platform. Yeah, I could do some Fall Guys after this. If, if I get this exit, which isn't actually going to happen, but if I did, yeah, then I'll, I'll end straight there. So um, if I'm not really making progress, I'll, uh, I'll still end. But uh, if I feel like I, I could potentially do it, I'll cling on until the end. So I'll play with his hobby. Not that I blame him. <laughs> It's not actually difficult. Um, <laughs> why is it when you say anything about being easy, it, you instantly die? But uh, yeah, this is all just knowing when to wait, when to drop. Yeah, this is all fine. Like, there's nothing tricky here. <laughs> why do I say anything at all? <laughs> This is the hardest game ever. I'm never going to be able to beat this level. It's it's impossible. It's like physically impossible. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work either. I feel okay. This one. I'm gonna dedicate life here to uh, this is thing. So this this is it.
You, Mr. Sling got me a big PB though. <laughs> oh, fuck, I have a big PB. That's getting fairly close to the attack point. Oh. PB. Right, Orla, this one's for you. Don't fail me. Okay, this one, because my, my thumb, my nail actually got caught under the D-pad, so... Jesus. Jesus, you let me down. Figs is here? Ew. Ew. Fuck Figs. Figs is out of season. Fucking shit. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Oh! <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit, I'm on form today. Jod Jamer. <laughs> that sounds fucking disgusting. Yeah, uh, things. If yeah, I was I was abusive to you, so yes, that one was for you, things. See, I would love to do a redemption for a Redeemer Mario for me, but I really and Knight used to do it. It was my favorite redemption ever, but it's it's his thing. He, he doesn't stream anymore, but I don't want to take it because it was definitely his thing, and I, I spammed it a lot. Yo, thanks very much for the follows. I appreciate that. Probably stole it from someone else. Yeah, that's true, EJ. Yeah, I'll, I'll create some sort of redemption. Like, cl claim this run. Same idea. If anyone wants to see the master of redemption, she should check out EJ because his EJs are, are his EJs. <laughs> his redemptions are fucking hilarious. I don't even want to explain what they are, you just need to experience them for yourself. Oh. 
Oh shit. Pretty sure I have to do two bounces there on that side. I've been second guessing them. Oh, oh no, 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 EJ, like your your uh, redemptions are some of my favourites left. Um, I love that there's high lives and then the high lives but expensive, and I love how you sh shit all over anyone who uses high lives. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes, whenever I redeem it, you're like, oh, not good enough for the expensive one. It's fucking hilarious. Um, I love the sound clips. Um, I love being so careless with your, your, your bass. That's very funny. Um, no, they're great. Your hydrate. <laughs> it, it, it's just so smart. Like, I'm sure other people have come up with similar ideas for what you went for, and I can guarantee you they wouldn't have executed as well as what you have. Okay, I, I, for anyone who doesn't know, I'll give you a spoiler into an example of EJ's, uh, um, like, how big brain EJ's channel point redemptions are so uh, he has one for awkward silence when there's an awkward silence in chat it literally plays an audio clip that he recorded for like 15 seconds of him sitting in the office quietly so you can't even hear anything but it's actually playing an audio clip of nothing so you expect it to be like awkward or something like this here but it's literally just awkward silence it's him sitting in silence in his office it's an audio clip for 15 seconds um, it's so fucking stupid and brilliant. <laughs> I, I know Grateful had a lot of issues here with these swinging platforms. Um, I hope they don't cause me too much issues. I, I have uh, play tested a lot of power hacks stuff, and he loves this double platform thing. So hopefully, it sorts me out. Stop, stop being kind, be an asshole. <laughs> for two and a half hours I might need to go to the toilet soon maybe I, I'm assuming that's a re-grab oh. if I could get this fucking clear I'd be so proud of myself three exits in a day This hack does really well that I'm sick of seeing in other hacks. A lot of other hacks took the idea of having a theme and running with it um, in the context of uh, enemies and they would use like the one kind of enemy different ways and that was great. Um, that was like the that's that's where like the new new Kaizo started really taking over um, in around that same time. Um, where you would see one enemy you utilized in every possible way and that's the level but what happened is after like the lockdown and then we were swarmed with a million hacks every week we saw a lot of that from every hack and uh, a lot of hard hacks 
don't do that. A lot of hard hacks utilize an element, but like, so this, this, this level, for example, this level, ha it is based around Maca Koopas, different customized Maca Koopas, but there's shrimps, there are thwomps, um, like there's disco shells, there's, there's balls, um, yeah, balls, um, but there's a lot going on that's not Maca Koopas, and this is like a perfect way of keeping the, the level so unique to this level, because if you only use Maca Koopas, then the next person to make a Maca Koopa level is going to be quite similar. And I, th I, I noticed that a lot with all the new hacks that came out during 2020, um, or 2021. That January 2021 onwards was, that was uh, exhausting to try and keep up with everything. Um, it was a good problem to have, but it, for me, um, like I've thought a lot about what I would want out of a hack I make and I, I, I've made a very clear note long time ago I made a note um, focus around one enemy but absolutely have more than that one enemy in the lap level um, like you absolutely have to utilize other things if you look at something like like the old, like original Kaizo series or Dram or whatever like that like there's just they have a lot more character um, they look vanilla, but they have a lot more character in the levels because there's just so much going on um, in every level uh, that like from various different elements and enemies and obstacles. So I think I think that's where we got oversaturated with similar gimmicks, and then you would have one hack that does it so well, and then every other hack that does something kind of similar but doesn't really hit the mark. It just falls flat, even though it's actually still a good level. Sky trees are a very common, like, it's, everyone gets bored of sky trees because they all look the same. Um, they're all very similar, and the same kind of obstacles are used through it. Um, and then we branched off where it had to be quirky. So instead of a normal sky tree, you had an underwater sky tree, or you had a sideways sky tree. Um, Oh, you had two sky trees like um but i think actually changing up like i i was i was watching judge judge play a new hack earlier and it didn't have a sky tree but it had a coin trail but they never actually utilized turning turning the coin trail into blocks with the piece switch and i'm like that's a perfect idea for an alternative sky tree having a coin block trail what are my favorite sprites um i i love item abuse um so like I love, I love like shells and keys and stuff. Um, in terms of enemies, um, it, I actually really enjoy these Maca Koopas. I think they're they're quite complex. I like Thwomps. Um, uh, what else? What what do I like? Um. I love Raxes. Ra I think Raxes are really, really cool. Um, and I, I think there's a lot of customizability that isn't used with Raxes. Like, like, like um, I'll give you an example. Like, you know the 2019 Blind Kaizo race? That very first level, like, the Chris G, I think, made that one. Um, it has it, you, like, it has customized Raxes that are faster and some fly and uh, it's got a lot going on and I think I've never really seen another level that done anything like that um, that was as fun as that so like I think like someone has missed the ball there um, but I think Raxes are really cool I think Raxes would be top tier um, in my opinion but I like original not a fan of the sugar free um, if I'm being honest, I really like how the disco shell is used in this level, and and also with disco tech in PT Mode World. Like, disco shell is just something you suck at until you don't suck at it anymore, and it's you just have you eventually get this sort of understanding of how a disco shell works and moves. Um, and I like being able to like control a disco shell. Um, trying to think of other sprites again i i i'm not 100 on what's an object and what's a sprite 
a sprite. Oh, fuck. Um, the thrumps? I think th thrumps are cool. Um, again, Galimbas aren't. Like, Galimbas are always left vanilla. Give me some fucking cool custom Galimbas. Um, I think I'll always feel bad uh, at Disco Shells. Like, it's. I don't know, like. It's, um. Disco Tech taught, taught me a lot about Disco Shell maneuvers that I hadn't experienced before, and I feel like that's where I sort of learned how to Disco Shell. Um, and if every like difficult level I've played since that has a Disco Shell since playing Disco Tech, I, I feel like I'm much better as a result. Um, obviously, you speed run Disco Tech, so a bit different, but um, like, uh, I can do them quite well at times. But I always feel like I'm learning. I I don't know, like, like, take, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe all you need is to be put under pressure with a difficult disco shell level where the disco shell is not the obstacle. Let's say the level itself is giving you a lot of hassle outside of what's happening with the disco shell, and maybe you'll you'll surprise yourself um, of how good you actually are. Um, sometimes levels are just shit and you're maybe blaming your skills with disco shells and it's just it's the level yeah like if you're playing brutal stuff and like uh, say something like the the door entry in a uh, secret uh, weather top secret exit like you need to be able to understand how to, to fucking to to maneuver a disco shell when you're trying to get in that door um, like I think that's like a good example of like like how good are you with disco shells? You're not even fucking riding on it, but the just how it moves. Um, Yo, Zanian. Flying. Fucking flying, mate. Oh, yeah, Zanian. So, in your channel the other day, we were talking about the Northern Irish accent, and I was explaining this, but it's very hard to explain it in chat. Um, most people struggle to both understand the Northern Irish accent, mainly because we speak fast, but on the slang that we use. But the actual accent itself is formed using the t putting the tongue into weird shapes and I'm, I, I never understood this until I watched an acting coach and he said the Northern Irish accents are the hardest to get right for actors um, and no one ever does them justice like even the people who do it well they're just doing it well in comparison to other actors who are trying to put on the accent and it's because of the shape so he he would teach actors like how to shape their tongue and their mouth to get the the accent because it's like the dialect is a lot of it's formed with just how you use your mouth and um comparing the likes of irish and northern irish uh the tongue position is much higher in, in at the back for for northern irish than what it is in in in, in irish um which is fr so interesting um Being amazing, where you're shittier. Um, I, I must try and dig out that video. I think I know the guy that I'm referring to. I think I can remember what video it was. Uh, like it was this like language coach for actors, and he was like critiquing like people who've spoke uh, Northern Irish in movies and stuff because they all do a shit job of it. Um, like I've. I've never come across anyone who had a, a a really good Northern Irish accent. Like my wife is great with accents. She can do a really good Scottish accent. She can do a really good like South African, Australian. Um, 
but she struggles a lot like she really can't she can do like a word here or there um but she can't string a sentence in a northern irish accent um it's just funny how much she struggles with it oh shit that's pb Okay, I think I'll get this. If I get this exit, um, I'll uh, switch over to Fall Guys. Um, because that's very close to the end. I just need to be a brave boy and uh, try and reach that Mecha Koopa straight on to the next disco, straight on to the next disco, and then just go straight away and get in the pipe. Um, I think I might be able to do this paid for your passport you know yeah i need to renew my irish one i've been traveling on my british one but going around europe now and a british passport uh, is a bit more difficult some of the airports i went to in france they accepted uk and eu in the same queue but some didn't and then in canada uh but in Canada, everyone was fucking lumped together apart from the Americans. Um, they got their own coup. But Toronto Pearson is like the worst airport I've ever been in in my life. Expired four years ago? Oh shit. Maggie's dreaming here right now. She's, she's barking in her sleep. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to move, I was going to say could I move my mic down so you could hear, but I would wake her up uh, if I did do that. What hair colour are you using for your passport photo? That'll be the same photo they use on the news whenever you do something violently wrong to someone. This is the suspect. Okay, one more swim. One more swim, that would have been it. This level hasn't been bad at all. Um, I thought this level was going to be hard. Maybe beat it before you judge. Yeah. I made that mistake earlier. I called the secret exit in uh, Deuce Lair. Easy, easy level for babies. And I fucking spent forever in it. But it beats... Honestly, Sens was fucking easy. I, I was scared of Sens. And uh, Sens was fucking easy. Um... I struggled with a lot of the fucking early levels and this whole mid part of the, the, the hack has been a breeze in comparison. Like uh, I was saying earlier, laser lifts, uh, riptide slide and Kerhadras all took me six hours each. Um, I 
like I tweeted about this, uh, I got real imposter syndrome and it, they were all kicking my ass and I felt like I didn't deserve to play the hack. And then this entire middle part of the hack I've been spending like, like two and a half hours, three hours on an exit. So there's a big drop in comparison, still taking a long time obviously. But um, yeah, it feels, feels amazing to be getting the like average time per clear way down. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. I was trying to re-grab, but it swam. I doubt I'll need a passport for at least another year. But I recently took uh, the book in Airbnb and couldn't verify my ID. So I had to get someone to make the booking. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I will advise this. Having had a, an extremely busy June at a wedding in the south of France. So we done Paris and then down to Toulouse. Fuck you, Rick, and then... Um, the following week we had a wedding in Toronto and I have been in let me, let me just count here one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have entered airports 17 times in June. Um, how fucking miserable is that? 17 fucking times. And airports all over the world are just canceling huge groups of flights. The staff are, the staff pretty much everywhere globally were on reduced pay from COVID, from lockdown. And they were put on their 70% salary and it has never been recovered even though now they're back to work. They have limited staff, they're working harder than ever because everyone that didn't get to go on holidays, um, everyone that didn't get to go on holidays is now going on holidays and the, there's just no staff so it's absolutely fucking miserable to travel. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like it's... It's it's so fucking horrible. Wait, did I count that right? 17, yeah. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, not seventeen, sixteen. Big mistake. Uh, sixteen. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, trying to travel home in Canada like so we were flying home the day before Canada Day and then um, they cancelled all the flights to Toronto that day and they were like oh the next so Can Canada Day is on the first and uh, they're like oh your next flight uh, is home is going to be on July 5th and this was in June we were in like the 30th of June or whatever it was and uh, we we're like, what? We don't live here. You can't just keep us here for an, like a week. You have to get us home. There's plenty of flights. And uh, so we stood in the hour for seven hours arguing with them. And then they got us flights the next day. Um, and then it turns out there was four flights home. out of, and They ended up flying us all over. So go to Toronto, um, go to Amsterdam, go to Dublin. And then the flight from Amsterdam to Dublin, they, we were act, like we were additional passengers. We didn't even have fucking seats on the flight. And it was just happened to be if someone didn't show up, we would have got the seats. So it was a fucking nightmare. Um, it's very, very stressful. Okay, Let, let's try and get out of this level. Um, and then I'll switch over to some fall guys. I was going to call them falls balls. <laughs> it's, it's a monument in Belfast. Balls on the fall, so it is. I 
don't know when's the best time to try and grab that swim. Do I try and get it before it hits like the the middle, the deepest part? Like further to the right? I think maybe that might be the actual strat. Maybe maybe it's just the deeper down it is. Um, maybe that's what it is. <sighs> um, Zanian, have you ever heard of this place? I was out, I was out drinking with some work friends the other night, and uh. There was a woman who was in Toronto not that long ago, and she said they ate in a place, it's, it's called like Blank Noir or something, um, where all the staff are blind, um, every single person is blind, apart from the person who deals with the cash at the end. Um, every single person is blind, and they, like the chefs, the waiters, and you, you're walked into a pitch black room, uh, like you go like a conga line into the pitch black room and uh, they sit you down in the dark you have no idea what the what the menu is you just uh, they they ask you what allergies you have and uh, they sit you down and they give you this feed in the pitch black oh you know of it yeah it sounds fucking awesome it's right up my street i'd love to do it um just to take away your senses and she said the conversation was so deep that night she says like she's never like sat down and had a meal and had such in-depth conversations with people when you're not looking at them you're just you're so immersed in what they're saying and uh sounds really cool shit smaller bounce First girlfriend had been there at some point. Yeah, it sounds really cool. She she took a, a photo of inside when they were walking in, and uh, like even even like with the flash on, like seeing the photo, it, the place looks cool even though you don't see anything because it actually really gives blind people a chance. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. Like it's to the, to them, it like the experience is no different other than. Um, like, uh, they don't have to feel like anyone's like staring at them or anything. Oh shit. But yeah, no, it's... When we were in Toronto, we went to this Japanese place and it was fucking horrible because they had the music pumping. We had traveled like 14 hours or something, or 12 hours and we were exhausted. And, uh... We went to this place and it was basically like the sort of place like hens and stags would go um where the music was loud every time someone ordered sake bombs all the staff would stop what they're doing and scream and shout sake bomb one two three and like everyone would like cheer and start banging the tables and stuff i'm like all i wanted was some fucking sushi and tempura <laughs> i didn't did not want this and uh food was okay a bit greasy but uh, oh, needed to do a bigger jump off there. Okay. Close, close. Close. At least it's an up pipe and not a door. I'm not fantastic at up pipes, but uh, I'm worse at doors.
Get in there, get in there. Hopefully we'll get this fairly soon. I hope I hope I don't fuck up the the P switch. This level definitely feels like very easy in comparison to some of the other stuff that I've played in the hack. Hmm. Maybe I need to jump up to the the top platform, like a small jump, and then bounce over. I'm trying to think of how Laser does his speed run. I thought he jumped from that platform. Like I thought it was like an, an immediate go. I'll, I'll give like the, the speed run strat one more attempt and then otherwise I'll just time it out. Yeah, I'm going for the speed strat because it looks easy when laser does it. <laughs> no, but like it looks so consistent. It is consistent in the speedrun when you know the strat, obviously. But uh, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like if I can get it to line up, like there's no reason why I shouldn't get it. Um, I'm getting back there more and more consistent, so it doesn't seem to be too bad to get there. Um, but yeah, I'll time it out if I have to. Um, like timing it out, I'm not going to get it straight away and it, it's going to take me a few goes. Like too, too fast, too slow. So might as well do the speed strat for a few goes. Oh shit. I don't know what happened there. Speed strap got. I, d I don't know when I'm meant to go, but I'm gonna tr try this. 
Yes! Get in the fucking pipe! Okay, there's a fallen fish. Oh my god. Oh shit. Now, will the fucking Maka Koopa kill me? Don't fuck this up. I might still fuck it up. Just don't go back into the pipe, otherwise there'll be corn dillion. Oh my god, three fucking accents. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. That's fucking class. Oh my god. Holy shit. Save. Oh my fucking god. That is fucking epic. Right. I, I'm going to switch over to Fall Guys then. 